right guys so over here i have my chicken i have the hard one this is not the one they call polo in italian or some people call um soft chicken this is the hard one i have my mackerel fish here i have my dried um scent leaves i have some crayfish and some habanero peppers i have some onion here this is the only onion i have in the house i didn't realize that i've run out of onions and i can't even go to the market now so i'm going to be using what i have but if you have onion and you are a fan of onion add as much as you want okay and this is the brand of banga that i'm going to be using this is the ghana fresh premium quality so um yeah that is going to be our base for the stew i have my ehuru or efu as some people may call it but i know this thing as ehuru this is the ground one let me show you the seed ones so this is what they look like when they are not um, blended so before you blend them you have to crack it open first so once you crack it open this is what you get you see this on the inside this is the shell and this is the one you're supposed to blend you see that so after blending this is what you get i bought this from a church member she has already blended them and tied them in smaller portions like this so it's always easier for me to grab and throw inside the pot i always store them in my freezer by the way and i have my seasoning cubes here i have three um, chicken nut cubes and this is the rice i have three cups of rice three cups like this here my pot is ready now as you all can see i've already gone ahead to prepare my ingredients this is always advisable as it makes the cooking process a lot easier because right now i just have to be grabbing and be adding into the pot sometimes i do it a day before sometimes i do it same day like today i'm making this meal today but i prepared everything same today right so this is a tip always try and make sure that your ingredients are all out prepped and ready to go into the pot okay now let's start cooking <laughs> all right so we are going to start off by boiling some water and in a pot we are going to add the chicken and we are going to basically cook this chicken for about 15 to 20 minutes because as we all know as we keep adding stuff to the pot the chicken or the meat <laughs> will continue to cook so let us start off by cooking it 15 to 20 minutes and to the chicken i'm going to be adding some seasoning cubes i'm going to be adding four cubes and i'm also going to be adding some rosemary if you have time this is the right time to also add that but i don't have that at the moment and i'm also going to be adding some salt just about three teaspoons not tablespoons three teaspoons of salt guys trust me that salt is not too much i i keep emphasizing on this because i know some people don't like salt so when they see people adding salt like this they feel like it's too much it's not too much okay it's just about the right amount i needed so as you can see i've already gone ahead to add the um i wanted to say crayfish the onion the little onion that i have and i rinsed the plate with a tiny bit of water just a tin tingling bit <laughs> and that is the only water we are going to be using to cook that meat you don't even need to add water at all by the side i'm going to be boiling some water because we are going to be cooking white rice as well the white rice that will go with the banga stew so i'm going to 
wash my um, bangatin before opening it this is what i usually do because we don't know where they packed it so <laughs> i always try to wash it to rinse off the dust and dirt on it before i go ahead and open it so with the help of my um can opener or tin opener it was very quick and easy for me i'm going to be transferring the banga concentrate i mean the pop inside the tin <laughs> i'm going to be transferring it into a bowl and i'm going to you know rinse the tin add in the bowl and i'm going to be um, mixing it up so that everything can turn to kind of a liquid form but not too watery and i'm doing that with hot water you need to do this with hot water and not cold water okay yeah so it is very necessary to use hot water to do this as it will help to um, liquidify the palm not concentrate i hope that makes sense <laughs> but please do not add too much water because we don't want our banga stew to be too watery okay just this is just about the consistency you should be going for now back to our pot i added little to no water to this pot but you can see the chicken is producing more water more liquid more juice okay so i just checked on it you know stir it up a bit and i covered it back again to continue cooking because it's not up to 20 minutes yet and by the side is the rice i just added the rice and we are going to parboil the rice for five minutes guys five minutes okay yeah now over here i'm going to soak the dried um scent leaves in hot water we are going to leave that for five minutes and nothing more than five minutes for this particular one because we don't want the flavor from the scent leaf to go away right now over here i'm going to be blending my habanero pepper or you can call it scotch bonnet peppers whichever one okay together with the crayfish i'm just going to use my um small food processor to process that and this is what it looks like after i'm done now back to the rice i'm going to be washing the rice just you know rinse and decant the water until um there is no more cloud <laughs> in the water until the water is transparent and clean basically And we are all done so I'm going to place it back on fire and I'm going to be adding some seasoning cubes guys I started doing this a long time ago sometimes I add seasoning cubes sometimes I skip it entirely but if I want my rice to be extremely yummy tasty and delicious I go ahead and add the seasoning cube but usually or most of the times i add only salt and i'm good to go but i just wanted to share this with you um you can add seasoning cube to your white rice it it tastes so good like you can even eat the white rice on its own without adding any sauce stew or you know anything like that okay yeah so try it out and see how it goes now back to the banga pot i just added the banga and while decanting it just have to be gentle so that you don't add all the tiny tiny particles at the bottom of the bowl into your pot okay we don't want to bite into that when we are eating yeah that is almost like sand and we don't want that and i've also gone ahead to add the processed or blended crayfish and the habanero peppers and i'm also going to be adding my ehuru seeds which is already blended give it a gentle mix and taste it as always you got to taste what you're cooking to be sure that everything is well balanced right so yeah taste it and adjust 
the seasoning if you wish to and add the mackerel fish at this point just add everything and uh, you know cover the pot and let it cook for 10 minutes now after 10 minutes we are going to come back to add our dried chow leaves or scent leaves yeah but before we add the scent leaves we are going to you know first of all rinse out the hot water we poured in it or on it and uh, rinse it off with some cold water and then cut it or shred it into smaller pieces because you're not going to be adding the leaves just like that it, i mean first of all it's not going to look nice in the pot and it's going to be too big to bite into all right so we are going to shred it into smaller pieces and then add everything into the pot now these leaves are very flavorful they have um, this scent scenty aroma <laughs> i don't know how to explain the flavor from from those leaves but they are really good they go so well with um banga stew i always make banga stew with that if i don't have it i'm not making any banga stew <laughs> now over to the rice i'm just checking on it and it's almost done but not yet done so i added a little bit more water and i'm going to let it continue cooking until it is properly cooked you know tender and yummy and fluffy as well now back to the pot we are just going back and forth here back and forth back and forth <laughs> oh my stew is ready as you all can see yep now back to the rice again i'm going to check on it and this time around the rice is completely done and i'm going to turn off the heat now for the last time back to the pot of banga stew can you guys see the oil that is floating on top of this thing like i don't know if they add more oil to it or what i just can't explain but the oil is too much way too much for my liking so i decided to you know drain it out and you can see all that i got like but the good thing about that is that you can always use it to you know prepare another yummy and delicious meal so stay tuned because we are going to be using that oil to cook soup later in another video not in this video okay yeah because we are not going to be throwing it out i mean that's a whole lot of oil so <laughs> it ain't gonna go to waste <laughs> don't mind me guys so this is the final result the final look and i'm going to be tasting it for you guys of course so why not i mean why not and if you know me you know that i love my rice with some bananas <laughs> so we are going to pray over the food and enjoy come and join me guys look that was really good but the only thing i disliked about this banga is that it's not giving me that kind of fresh banga vibes i don't know but it was tasty though but yeah and again the oil was too much but anyways that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs> that's blessing <laughs> always by my side bye guys